Ask Michael. That's right, you can ask me a question at mdb at undergroundgarage.com and I will answer every single question that I can. Um, and I just enjoy getting them more than you could possibly imagine. There's so many things that uh, I could tell you, but I can't tell you because it's a secret. I feel like a therapist. I feel like a doctor. I feel like a lawyer. No, last thing I feel like. So, the question today is really cool. It's very cool. I'm going to read it verbatim. I'm just going to get my notes and read it verbatim because it's very cool. It's from Susie. Uh, she doesn't say where she's from, but then there's a Susie in every city. But this is specifically Susie from an unspecific city, which is a David Bowie song, as you know. Just kidding. Michael. What is the most rock and roll item of clothing? <laughs> Don't you love it? Um, boy, I'd love to hear what you what you think. Like, if you're asked a question like that, what is the ultimate item of clothing that represents rock and roll? That you close your eyes and you think about rock and roll. What does rock and roll wear? What does what is that item that's in that wardrobe? You know, what is it amongst all your other clothes? Um, I boiled it down. I have an answer, and my answer is quite simply a black leather jacket, motorbike jacket, zips, black leather, collar turned up. It's got to be, hasn't it? I mean, what, do you, what else could it be? You know, I'd love you to let me know what you think it would be, but to me, rock and roll was born out of an era in America that suggested that teenagers had a voice that there was a whole other generation of young people who were not children and they were not grown-ups they were teenagers and that is a very very important thing to realize that that James Dean and Blackboard Jungle and all of the influences that Stevie Van Zandt um, you know accesses in his shows when he describes the philosophy of Little Stevens Underground Garage is the dangling cigarette the black leather jacket the, the jeans the biker boots the white t-shirt the shades maybe shades would be you know but which shades you know to me it's that black leather jacket exemplified of course by the Ramones and accessed by everyone that wants to look cool if you even watch telly and you're you're watching um, you know some obscure cable thing for instance Daryl Hall has a show what is he wearing you know Daryl Hall is of indeterminate age I would imagine in his late 50s he's wearing a black leather jacket you know, and, and I think it's come to let people know, well, this is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is what I'm wearing. I'm going to play the guitar for you. And here it goes. And, and you can dig it. And I'm not posing. And I'm, this is who I've, I've chosen to be. And this is the vocabulary that I'm using. If, if vocabulary, if words were clothes, this is what I'd say. <laughs> I'd wear a black leather jacket. So there you go, Susie. That's my version. Um, uh, you know, perhaps to you it's underwear, which is probably pretty scant. In, in rock and roll, I would imagine, because getting laundry done on the road is so difficult. So there you have it, Oz Michael, right here, mdb at undergroundgarage.com. I absolutely look forward to your questions, and I so look forward to playing you Shadows of Night. <laughs>